Today we're connected with the CEO of Ticket.com, George Andrata. Uh, Mas George, thank you so much for joining Hi, us Ms. today George. this morning. You don't know how Hello. much we are so you know excited, <laughs> excited to meet with you today because I, we know that you already have all the answers and it's going to be a positive one. You're going to make us so happy today. It is Friday. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. <laughs> all right. Um, Mas George, um, I want to know because after more than two years, the government has finally eased the restrictions for fully vaccinated domestic travelers. Now, what's your take on this? Well, thanks for having me, guys. Shanaz and Carol. <laughs> Super love the, all the, uh, the pictures that you show behind just now. You know, all the vacation spots. <laughs> we just can't wait. <laughs> uh, I, yes, we wanted to go there, too. I think the last time that I had a truly long vacation was actually last year. Wow, so, right. COVID fever, I, I got a chance to go to some places. Hmm? Halstad, the one that you showed me behind, I, I was there, Ooh. I think, in 2018. Yeah, super right. amazing spot. So, uh, and you cannot pick a better a better time than to buy the ticket you know right now because we're having a what we call an <laughs> online ticket week right? right so it's 50 to 70 percent off and Ooh. you know going to london it costs about 3 million Ooh. you know going to turkey what? you know 1.7 million so a lot of uh, exciting deals there check us out yeah wow. uh, but, you know coming back to your questions i think restrictions are nice because i okay. think we have as you have uh, said recently mm -hmm. that indo cases are down right we have about mm -hmm. maybe six thousand cases per day you know, 90% down from the, the from the peak, yeah, about 64K. Antibody testing showed that, you know, 80%, 87% of Indonesian population has yeah. COVID antibody. And then, you know, we are also close to 60% vaccinated, you know, 156 million people out of mm -hmm. 273. Mm -hmm. So I think all these factors, um, it, it's prudent for the government to, to do this because all these trends are showing positive signs, right? Mm. Yeah. And then, you know, second, we, we also cannot forget that Indonesia is an archipelago of 17,000 islands, super beautiful places beyond the, 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 you know, five priority destination that, uh, you know, Sandi Uno, you know, uh, Menteri Sandi Uno promote, right? Super priority mm -hmm. area, right. uh, uh, Danau Toba, yeah, uh, Borobudur, Mandalika, Likupang, Labuan Bajo, beyond that, there are so many beautiful places. Yeah. And so I think with the trends coming down, with so many beautiful places, Easy access now because we have a lot of new airports that right. has been built in the past few years, right? With government focus on transportation, mm -hmm. and then now we give affordability, right? Because we, we we give you a bunch of discounts, we give our customers <laughs> customers a bunch of discounts, and also you know the ability to do pay later, right? So I think Ooh. it makes it all 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 easy, and it makes it you know right for people to actually try out destination within the country and also right. abroad. So super excited about it and super supportive of the uh, regulation. And what a beautiful present it is, especially for us right here in Indonesia. Now, you already said yes. that you've seen positive trends among tra uh, you know, travel agencies and whatnot. Now, um, have you prepared yourself for this sudden, t um, because we know the restriction comes and goes, but now it seems it's a little legitimate. You know, the, the policy is going to stay this way. Have you prepared strategies in adjusting to sudden changes prompt uh, to this COVID-19 ease restrictions? Actually, we, we learned a lot during the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. One thing is, you know, when, uh, you know, travel become a bit restricted, mm -hmm. people try other modes of transportation. Mm. Yes. Right? They drive to nearby location, uh, areas around Surabaya, you know, they will go to Malang, Batu and all that mm -hmm. driving. Some people actually drive all the way from Jakarta to, to Bali. I'm sure yeah. you have a lot of friends with us. Yeah. And then, um, you know, they also like to stay in uh, villas, <laughs> outdoor uh, facilities mm. where they can go with their cluster of friends and family. So we actually launched ticket homes oh. uh, to respond to this, right? Which is basically vacation, home rentals, in a whole unit. And then it's a nice, beautiful place, a lot All of right. outdoors. And then they do, they do, uh, they workation from there, staycation from there. So in a way, we have been adjust, adjusting to uh, the world post-pandemic because mm. work in most cases can be hybrid, right? Mm. And people might uh, choose to actually go to Bali and work from yeah. there for a month, uh, yeah. and then and then uh, do, do do somewhere else. So actually, it's 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 something new that we haven't seen, right? right. And uh, it's not it's not unique to Indonesia as well. I've also seen uh, people in uh, in the US, yeah, in mm -hmm. the in Europe, uh, in India, uh, doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So these these are these are all new things that that is uh, happening because of the pandemic. So people adjust. Okay, Second right. thing is also that. You know, when the offline is a bit restrictive, the online flourish, right? So that's why we have a lot of online experiences, mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people can come in concurrently, 100,000 people watching online experiences, right? Whether it's be exclusive show, uh, uh, concert, and so forth. You yeah. know? And, and so I think we are, we are, of course, we are prepared. If, if somehow um, the, the, the restriction yeah. uh, get a bit, you know, back, back, back on, uh, yeah. I, we are sure that all those will, will also uh, flourish, right? Like yeah. the, the way we had in the past. But we don't foresee that uh, uh, anytime soon, right? Because we, we have seen that the, the easing is, is basically Graduate. gradual. Yes. And I think uh, the ones that the trends that I have shown you is, uh, is quite uh, structural, right? That people have antibody, right. that the cases are down. Yeah. We, we, of course, we will see other variants, but we also have seen that most of the variants tend to become more contagious, but also less, less deadly, right? Yeah. Which, is, yeah. which is, I think, the virus also want to survive, right? right and so yes. the, the, the evolution of the, of the disease tends to be less uh, uh, deadly, but more contagious. Now, you just, I just want to take a note on that, uh, Mas George, because one of Shahnaz and uh, our colleagues here, uh, when we were broadcasting <laughs> from home, he broadcasted from Bali. Bali. How exciting that was. We're talking about Paul Valeli, by the way. But still. Which part of Bali? Which part of Bali? I think I, he was, he went around in Bali. Yes. Yeah, he went Sanur. around. Sanur. Yeah. Okay. He went Sanur, he went Patitangat, I think some minyak. How lucky he is. Uh, Me and Shana, we got to protect the studio. <laughs> okay. And um, Mas George, I also want to know, according to uh, Tika.com, uh, what kind of transportation mode that has the most significant rise in uh, booking numbers following the recent shift in travel restrictions? Well, for sure, because um, flight previously domestically, you need mm -hmm. either PCR or antigen test, right? Yeah. Yes. So immediately when the restriction was lifted, we saw a 150% increase, right? Really? Immediately, almost. <laughs> 150%. Yeah, almost. Bye, 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 bye. And bye, then, bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and yesterday we, we saw an even higher increase, right? So for yeah. sure, people have pent up demand. Yes. And then sure. uh, with the easing of restriction that you can bring kids under six yes. uh, to, to fly, it makes it easier because in the past, you know, parents want to fly, but they cannot bring their kids, mm -hmm, right? Yeah. So, so definitely have seen increase in that. Uh, uh, road transportation will also increase because I think uh, uh, mudik ya lebaran, yes. it's, 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 it's going to be allowed this year, right? It looks like with the current trend. Uh, railroad transportation, same thing, it's also increasing. So yeah. pretty much all mode of transport, yeah, including you know, car rental, yeah. Yeah, it's everything basically. Yeah. Well, you know, Mas, uh, George, in the year 2021, I also had the chance to travel back home to U.S. And, you mm. know, one of the things that people kind of don't want to go in 2021, not because of the restriction in the countries there, mm. whether U.S. or European countries, but when you come back, you have to quarantine. Now, you know, <laughs> now the government... For 14 started, days, right? For, that time it was seven days, by the way. That was a long seven days for me with three kids. By the way, <laughs> now the government has left the, you know, no quarantine coming inside to Indonesia. How is the international trips? Are is it you know skyrocketing, skyrocketing right now? And what about other countries too? Because we know there are some countries that have some regulation where they, we have to buy uh, travel insurance before mm. we arrive to their uh, country. I mean, for sure. I mean, we we have seen increases in international travel as well, right? Coming in and going out. Mm. I uh, uh, recently arrived at Sukarno Hatto and it's all full. Uh, we, we recently had a MotoGP event, right? Correct. Mm. So loud, right? Mandalika is completely <laughs> booked, right? Mm. And we see the international tourists enjoying the place because it's so beautiful and, you know, it's a, it's a worldwide event, right? Mm. And so uh, we expect to see this uh, happening, right? Mm. Uh, almost everywhere in Indonesia. You know, of course, uh, some of the countries still apply restrictions with travel insurance and all that, but we also make it easy for people to buy insurance from our mm -hmm. site. Okay. Uh, coming in and also going abroad. And then, uh, so we think that it's only a matter of time when uh, more and more countries will ease because they have also seen as they ease, hmm. uh, cases are not rising up too much, hospitals yeah. are relatively, uh, uh, admissionary are relatively okay, but the beauty is that the economy grows, right? Yeah. In tourism, yeah. right? In the, 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 the tour thing. operators, right? So, so I think uh, it's all good. All We have triple tailwinds coming in. Mm. Right, uh, with less tests, uh, cheaper transportation, right, and then availability of wide places where you can go. So I think the uh, the only way is up at this point in time. 
Okay. Uh, Mas George, um, I really, really want to go. Now, my question is, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really want to go. My question is, um, um, for some of people that are still hesitant to go abroad, do you have any advice for them, um, whether they should go on domestic or international travel first? <laughs> I think either way is good, right? Okay. Um, we have seen that uh, when uh, there were was restriction in place mm -hmm. actually a lot of people discover uh, pretty places in their backyard right domestic travel was yes. crazy so um, i think in the past two years a lot of my friends who have not been to labuan bajo they went for the first time mm -hmm. right to lombok to sumba because because um, international travel was restricted restrictive right yeah. but if you haven't explored your own backyard this will be a perfect time to do it because okay. um you know a lot of the facilities are being built mm -hmm. so that makes it much easier to travel there. Labuan Bajo, I used to have to take transit route, right? right. And now it's basically, you know, non-stop, right? So it's yeah. beautiful. Oh. Facility has been renovated, right? So perfect timing, right? Okay. Uh, but if you want to travel internationally, if you want to travel internationally, it's also that uh, you're not the first, right? I mean, mm. there are a lot of people who have traveled yes. um, uh, uh, since, it's, since it's opening up. So a lot of the wrinkle, right? In mm. international travel has been removed. So it's actually relatively easy. So. I think the choice is yours, right? You want to do explore domestically, you can. International okay. as well. Okay. And by the way, our online ticket week applies to both domestic and international <laughs> travel. So either way, you will get, Just go. You will get yeah. the best price. Ticket.com. <laughs> now, of course, you know, one of the strategies that you said uh, was a lot of great discount, including going to London with only starting from <laughs> 3 million. million. Wow. Bye, guys. I'm going to ticket.com. Oh, no. <laughs> Question. Yeah, take a while. All right, all right. So, what other more strategies to attract more travelers just like me? And of course, Shanas is ready to Already go, attracted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for sure, one is that information, right? What you ask, we try to provide the best information possible, step by step, mm -hmm. so that um, you, you gain confidence in knowing yeah. that these are the steps, that um, uh, it, it's quite clear what you have to do, right? And, and once you have uh, enough information, you can make better decision, right? Yeah. Second, also we we make it easy for you to, to discover these are the destinations which are interesting. You know, mm. at this point in time, you know, soon I'm hoping that you know, for example, places like Japan will open up, yes. right? And you might go on a Sakura trip, that. right? <laughs> yeah. So so you know, there are there are things that we will recommend. We focus on basically making it easier for people to travel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. To search, book, and pay in the apps using one hand in less than one minute. And if you want to cancel and refund, you can also do it with one hand, with one thumb in less than one minute, right? Oh, I mean, wow. that's the whole, the whole idea of, of, of uh, you know, Ticket.com trying to become the most nice. loved consumer travel apps, right? Yes. And then second is also that we try to provide endless discovery because again, you know, there are so many choices. So we try to procure the best places for you, right? Also the best seats, the best uh, availability, right? And so you can try different places um, um, domestically and international. Nice. And then thirdly, like I mentioned to you, you know, with a uh, new way of people to travel, ticket homes, right? Mm -hmm. Make it affordable with ticket uh, pay later. Mm -hmm. So I think all, all factors are in place for you to be able to find <laughs> the destination. Just right for you, you know, at the price that you like. Right, okay. and at the ease of searching, booking, and paying. Nice. All right, All right. just click it. Yeah, you just get your thumbs ready, guys. <laughs> okay, it's gonna, you know, has a lot of work to do right there. Anyways, thank you very much to thank George and Thank you so much, George, for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you know, you are. It, it was been a very insightful, fruitful discussion. <laughs> I think we're just ready to go and rock and roll. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and weekend for you. All right. All right. Okay, so we're going. Bye.